Hey there, it's Brittany Chavers and I'm back with Jesse James Beads and we're gonna make a fun Y necklace using the Magical Mystery Bead Box from July 2023. This box was so special, I loved it so much. It was the Welcome to the Bayou um, box. I just love the colors. It's it, it was one of my favorites of the year so far. So we're gonna be making a Y style necklace and what that means is it's um, it's just in the shape of a Y. We're gonna do a little twist on it today, but for the most part, the shape that I'm using is the Y shape. We're gonna be using this little alligator pendant that was in the, the box. Um, I did an unboxing on my channel and showed you how to turn it into a bale, turn this little back piece into a bale on my channel, check that out. And then, um, we are going to be using most of the Cypress Grove uh, mix. That was my, one of my favorite mixes in the box. A couple beads from the Bayou Bead Mix. Some of this fabulous um, cord and um, some other little things for, for the necklace. For the first piece of the necklace, I'm going to grab some super glue. I've got this Loctite. This is my favorite for cord um, when we're gluing on end pieces. And I'm going to take my two end pieces that came with this awesome beaded cord. And I'm just gonna make a length, I'm gonna cut a length. I'm just gonna use my regular scissors. Um, I think this is gonna be pretty long. I think that's good enough. Right about there. Okay. And then I am gonna put the rest aside, just making sure, yeah, that's the length I want it. And I am gonna grab my Loctite and squeeze some glue into both of my end findings. Get that in there. And I'm gonna slip on one end. Oh, we gotta cut off, I think this little, a couple of these beads before we can get that on there and snip off a couple of these beads just so we can get that cord into our end finding. So I'm gonna smoosh that on there. There we go, perfect. Hold it just for a few seconds. Then I'm gonna move to the other side. It's not quite dry yet, so I'm kind of getting, I sh you should not touch super glue with your fingers, but I'm just squishing mine off of there, cutting these pieces off. There we go. And finding my other end piece, gluing in there. Loctite is super easy to, to squeeze compared to some other super glues out there. And then squish this end in. And we're just gonna hold that in place for a little bit. Now that our ends are glued on, I am just going to hang my little alligator from the end of my cord. And you may need three or four of these depending on how you want your um, alligator to lay. I'm gonna check with two and see how it goes. And then if, if I feel like um, he's getting in the way of that end finding, then I'm just going to put on another one or two. And there we go. Now he's hanging from the front of our leather. And it's so like, I just love it. I just love it. I love how the um, leather kind of mimics the skin or the uh, scales on the alligator. So we're gonna let that hang out for just a second. And then I'm gonna do my second Y tail. Um, for this, I grabbed the um, Monstera. I grabbed one of the awesome wood coins and um, a pyramid from the uh, Bayou bead mix, this larger bead mix that was in the kit. I'm gonna put that there. I also have this bead strand called Grass Snake. 
going to open this up. And I think I'm going to slip this rondelle right here. We're going to get some uh, 22 gauge wire in just a moment. And I am going to wire wrap these together. I'm using Vitalon German style wire in 22 uh, gauge. First, I'm going to create a loop. And before I close that up, I'm going to slip that onto my Monstera. There we go. And then I am just going to hold on to that loop and bring that around my Monstera a couple times, or bring around the stem a couple times. Okay. And that Monstera is double sided, so it doesn't really matter which side you clip your wire. All right. Then I'm going to slip on my wood bead, my bead cap, and my rondelle, and then my bead cap, and then my metal bead. So we have another pendant here. And it depends on how you want this to look. If you want, so the hole on the, the uh, wood bead's a little large, so my wire wrap's going inside the, be the wood bead. I don't really love how that looks. I want something to that's a little bit smaller to prevent that from happening. So we have a couple choices. I have this really fun rhinestone bead that I could put on there. Let's see how that looks. Oh, I love that. That gives it even more sparkle. When is sparkle not a good thing? <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and put these back on. Okay. So we have our bead stack. Like that. And then we're going to take this other chain that came in the kit um, in the uh, Magical Mystery Bead Box. And I'm going to make I'm going to measure it to be just a little bit shorter than our ch our leather piece. It's going to be hanging right next to it, but I want some extra dimension by making it shorter. So let's see. I want that to be hanging right about there. And you could do this. You can measure this after you wire wrap, but I'm going to do it before. And I think we will we'll go with that long. You can measure and make it as long as you'd like or as short as you'd like. I'm going to start that wire wrap again. Like that, pull it to the back. And then we're going to click it on to the chain directly. before we wire wrap it closed. There we go. And we're just gonna keep wiring until or wrapping until it looks the way you want it. Of course, I always love a messy wrap, so I'm gonna go a little messy on this one. And then I'm gonna snip it in the back. Like that. And we will make sure that it hangs. It looks nice. Oh my gosh, I love these two together. I know the, the alligator's a little off camera at the moment, but they're so cute together. They're so cute together, and they're gonna be laying next to each other. Now, you could see this cord's having a little tendency to curl back up because that's how it was shipped. That's okay, over time, this is gonna be hanging out, and it's the weight will straighten this out, 
But if you have extra time, I would say lay it under a book before you start your necklace for a few days and then or a heavy book for sure. And that'll straighten it out for you. But over time, it's going to straighten out. Now, I did grab um, from my stash, from my Jesse James bead stash, some old chain from them. And um, it was made out of rings. I just need one ring. I think I'm going to go with the um, larger ring. Uh, you can use anything you can make a ring out of chain or from chain you can make um a ring out of what 22 gauge wire 20 20 gauge wire 18 gauge wire whatever you want to use just check your stash i'm sure you'll be surprised at what you could use here i take two jump rings and i'm going to attach each of my pieces to that piece uh to that ring There's one. And there's two. All right, so now we have our two pieces hanging next to each other, and this will be super cute when I show you it on my um, mannequin in a, just a few moments after we finish the, the necklace. So those are hanging down, okay, next to each other, both focals, they're really cute. Here is the alligator next to that monstera. And then we're going to make the rest of the necklace. Now, the rest of the necklace is just going to be um, strung. I picked out, I think it's going to be actually strung and um, some chain. I picked out most of the beads from the Cypress Grove mix. I really loved that mix with the um, neutrals and the gold. I got a couple of the smaller crystals out. And the crystal round nails. I'm gonna take my 19 strand beetle on stringing wire. And then I'm gonna crimp on to my ring. Put my crimp on, grab my ring, come back through my crimp. And then move that down. We're gonna make sure that there's enough of a connection there. Move that down, making sure that our our wires are not crossed when we go to crimp. Squish. And then we're gonna turn 90 degrees, move it up in the pliers and then squish one more time. There we go. I will be finishing this necklace off with chain because I don't have enough beads to go around the, um, the entire necklace. I'm just going to split these up and then we're just going to start stringing. I'm going to start with one of these little crystals and then I'm going to start with the Dalmatian Jasper bead, a spacer, a lava. Rondell, Spacer, Jasper, pick a pattern that works for you okay so this is the pattern I went with basically I, 
rotated between this metal bead and this metal bead and a stone bead and a lava bead. So I didn't have enough lava at the end, but that's okay. I put two stone next to each other. They're super cute like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and move this down. All right, and then I'm gonna take this beautiful chain reaction that also matches because it has some green on it. I am going to take off the jump ring in the back. Now, be careful because the jump ring in the back of these is usually um, memory wire. So instead of cutting that, I would just un I would just take it off if you're if you're able. Um, cutting that with your regular pliers will ruin them. You want to use memory wire cutters if you're going to take if you're going to cut that all right so i'm going to take my wire my crimp tube my chain and come through the chain and then come back through my crimp tube find a bead And then we're going to pull. Now it doesn't matter how tight this is because you don't need this to be super flexible. However, I'm not going to do it too tight to where it's just straight. Um, however, it's it, the, the flexible part of the necklace is the chain. So you're not going to, if you do it too tight, it's not going to, um, it's not going to matter as much. All right, we're going to go ahead and squish. And turn 90 degrees and squish again. And then we'll trim our extra wire. The good thing is um, I can use this piece because it's quite long to do the other side really quickly. Here is our finished product and I just I love this necklace it's such a statement so I'm gonna show you what it looks like hanging on the mannequin in just a moment but um, e everything about this necklace is a state got this beautiful alligator this amazing cord and um, such pretty pretty beads and components from the July magical mystery bead box so Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the look on the mannequin. And thank you to Jesse James Beads for having me back again. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hi, Nugget. Hi, cutie girl. Hi, you want your mommy work? Yes. Yes, you want your mommy work? Yes, a good girl. You're so cute. You are so cute. Yes, you are. My little angel.